Hello everyone and welcome to yet another Ascend Nova product video. Today we'll be taking a look at the new Armory Grid software and all the features that it provides for our users. Now before we dive into this, it's important to note that depending on which Asus laptop the software is being run on, it will offer you different features to play around with. So for example, we are currently running this software on the 2020 Zephyrus G14 and that's why it has the anime matrix option here so that you can control that particular feature. Now with that out of the way, let's get right into the software and what it has to offer. On the left right here, you'll see this beautiful graph which represents the mode that is currently uh, your laptop running on. So you have Windows, Silent, Performance, Turbo and Manual mode to select from. And depending on which one you've selected, it will show you which parameters it uh, is actually giving more preference to. So for example, when I switch to set mode, you'll see that the graph changes to give preference to cooling, noise reduction, and energy savings, while the CPU performance and GPU performance are toned down. And when I switch to performance, the graph will change to show you that cooling, CPU performance, and GPU performance have higher preference now as compared to energy savings and noise reduction, which have a little lower preference. And on the right, you'll see different statistics that will give you a good idea of how your laptop is currently running. So you have CPU stats and GPU stats, wherein you will be able to see the frequency, usage, memory frequency, temperature, and voltage in real time. Yes, so this is updated in real time. So this is the frequency which my CPU is currently running at. And the same goes for the GPU. And what's the current usage? What's the memory frequency? What's the temperature of these uh, particular hardware inside my laptop and the voltage that they are consuming. The same real-time setting is also here for fan speed. So you have CPU and GPU fan speed and the corresponding uh, noise that is being created because of the fans. Then we have the memory and storage uh, at a glance here. And when you scroll or you can tap on these buttons down here, so you'll see more features over here. So in system configuration, you get various options to turn on and off. So you can turn the Windows key on and off, the ROG key on and off, the touchpad and the boot up sound on and off. And for example, if I use this, now the Windows key is disabled. I'm tapping on the Windows key, but it will not work. And it will show you actually a notification that the Windows key is disabled, but it will not show because I have turned the focus assist off on. So right here, you can see that it showed me notifications that you need to unlock the Windows key to activate this feature. And now when I press the Windows key, it will work again. And this is great for when you're gaming. And similarly, you can, you know, uh, toggle various features on and off right here from system configuration. And as I mentioned before, uh, this Armory Create software will give you customized feature for your particular laptop. So for example, if you are uh, using a laptop, one of our laptops, which has high refresh rate display, then most likely you will have an option here that will enable you to switch between low refresh rate and high refresh rate as per your requirement. Moving on, we have the game launcher option so that you can quickly run your games directly from here and they will be optimized for your system. Then we have the enemy matrix settings, which we'll dive deeper later into this video. Then we have the app configuration option, which enables you to quickly toggle the aura sync setting and the game first vi alongside scenario profiles which will enable you to switch between different scenarios uh, then we also have the my profile option which opens up more features when you log into it now before we move on to other sections uh, you should also know that you can easily rearrange all these styles over here as per your requirement also you have the option to connect your phone with the armory crate uh, software on your laptop and you can do this by downloading the Armory Create mobile app either on the Play Store for Android phones or via the App Store for iOS phones. Now moving on, on the left side you have uh, all these options to explore. So right now we were in the home dashboard. Now moving on to device, we have the system and anime matrix settings. Let's first explore the system setting. So in the system settings, as you can see, you have the memory, GPU power saving and resource monitor option. And in memory, it will actually show you all the processes that are taxing the CPU. So you can select them and free up uh, resources. Similarly, for GPU power saving, you will see the list of apps that are currently utilizing your GPU's resources and you can choose to stop them all. 
Additionally, you have the resource monitor option, which will enable you to have a deeper look at all the resources that are being consumed on your PC. And you can use this for five minutes, 10 minutes, two minutes, or one minute interval. Now, going back to the enemy matrix settings, as mentioned before, we have the G14, and that's why we have the anime matrix setting here. So first one is the animation mode up here. And in animation mode, you can uh, actually toggle between various animation settings. You can choose the content from the content library, and you can also choose to display text effects. So in content library, you can either import your own uh, GIF or anything that you want, image or anything else that you'd like to display on the anime matrix. And you can drag and drop it directly here to begin the process of configuring your own personalized anime matrix display. And that's pretty cool if you ask me. And you can stack them as well. So if you want these two uh, GIFs to work one after another, you can just drop them here and they will uh, be arranged accordingly on this timeline. So this is kind of a video editor for the anime matrix. And you can just keep dropping uh, these uh, content here, the, the content here, so that it's it creates this sort of a timeline and you can then play a preview, you can debate, you can edit as per your requirement, you can uh, toggle the speed, and there are many other options to play around with. Down here we have the text effect. So if I want to enable the text effect, I'll have to turn this on. And I can also choose to hide other effects so that none of these other effects will be shown. And I can input and text like, like this. And select the font, si font, font size, the speed. And uh, yeah, I can just turn it on and it will show up here. I can also choose to hide, hide other effect. And as you can see, I love ROG is now uh, being displayed across the anime matrix and I can change the speed. So that's much more faster or slower paced. I can change the font. And I can also add another text if I want to. So that's pretty nifty. Now moving on to the second option, which is the system mode in anime matrix. System mode will help you uh, display the batch life, the mail. If you have a, a, a mail, then it is tethered to Outlook and Microsoft Mail so that if you get an email on your Outlook or Microsoft Mail, it will show this uh, email sign so that you know you've got a mail. Then you can also click on clock and alarm so that it will show you the current time. And you can also choose the date and calendar option as well and the transition time as you want. So personally, I like to know the battery level, mail, clock, and that's it. And you can customize it as per your requirement. Now the third one is audio mode. Audio mode will enable you to select between different visualizations and the spectrum within that visualizations. And uh, what this will do is actually it will sync with the music that is being played on your laptop and will show similar visual corresponding visualizations on the anime matrix LED. So I'll give you a quick example of that. So as you can see here, the visualizer is actually moving as per the beats of the song and is syncing to it. And I can change it between these various spectrums. And you can also choose the intensity of these visualizations. Additionally, you can also add text effects to it. And that's a pretty cool feature if you ask me. Now moving on, we have preference setting where you can control the entirety of enemy matrix lighting. So you can toggle the enemy matrix on and off from here. And you can change different parameters such as if you want it to be activated in sleep mode when the lid is closed or when you want to turn it off when uh, your laptop is unplugged. Uh, and if you want to show power saving animation to save some battery life. Now the final option here is virtual pet, which is a very cool feature that we recently added to anime matrix. And uh, this basically brings up this virtual pet, which ca you can also show 
on the back of your laptop on the anime matrix and you can uh, you know play around with it there are multiple things that it can do and it's a pretty cool thing to have and you can right click on it to uh, basically play around with its properties so you can resize it you can uh, enable quick access you can apply some effects you can turn it on when your laptop starts up with automatic startup you can minimize it or you can close it next up is the aura sync feature now here in aura sync you will be able to see all of your aura sync enabled devices be it keyboard or mouse that have aura sync rgb they will show up here so that you can easily manage all of them from one place additionally you can go over to aura effects and here you'll be able to control the lighting effect of the rgb on your aura sync devices rightly from here uh, since i don't have any devices connected it shows no devices available right now moving on to the game visual feature here you'll see there are different modes to select from so right now if i switch to default mode so it will provide me the best viewing experience for browsing photos and websites which is what most laptops are used in default condition and we also have racing scenery rts rpg vivid i care cinema and fps options so whatever be the scenario you can select it from here and your display will be optimized accordingly additionally you can also change the color temperature here to make it to make the color tones warmer or cooler as per your requirement we also have the color calibration option and this is specifically available for the zephyrus g14 because it comes with a Pantone validated display. So if you have an X-Rite iOne Display Pro calibrator, you can connect that to the laptop and you can start the calibration process to get very accurate colors on this laptop. Moving on, we have the game library option and here it will list all the games that are currently installed on your PC so that you can assign them to any scenario profiles. While we learn about scenario profiles next, you just need to know that you can easily assign games to a particular scenario profile and they'll be optimized accordingly. You can also add your own games. Uh, if there's some game that's not listed here, you can add them manually as well. Next up is the scenario profile option and when you open scenario profile you'll be able to edit and create different scenarios for particular apps. Now for example this is the default scenario profile that the Armory creates ships with. So here you can change the name, you can select any apps that you want to link with, it will quickly scan and then you can uh, you know assign these apps to this particular profile. So whenever I'm opening these apps these conditions will be triggered. So I can change the system configuration for these apps. I can choose to turn the touchpad on and off i can choose to turn on or off the ROG key or the windows key i can set the volume at a particular level and so on similarly i can also choose to change the app configuration for aura sync or for the game first vi and if i choose to i can clear cache as well i can also uh, edit the custom configuration as per my liking so if i want to remove any feature or add any feature i can do that as well Additionally, you can change the profile that you want to edit right from here. So I have also created a gaming profile and I switch to it. Uh, you can see I've selected my games here and link them to this particular profile and optimize the uh, system configuration and app configuration as per my requirement. Now, next up is the featured section where you'll be able to see game deals, recommended apps, and you can also redeem some uh, exciting deals uh, specifically tailored for our consumers. So right here in game deals, you'll have multiple games uh, that are discounted and available for uh, VIP, ROG, VIP members as well. So you can buy some games here if you feel like it. And you can also uh, switch over to recommended section to see what all you can uh, install for your laptop. And the redemption option will open up once you log in to the ROG Armory Crate. Moving on to the news section, as the name suggests, you'll be able to keep up with all the latest happenings with the ASUS products right here from the news tab. So as you can see here, there are multiple articles here for your perusal and you can go through them to see what's happening in the world of ASUS. Finally, we have the user center right here, which will enable you to log in or sign up to access more features in the Armory Crate uh, software. Next up is the settings tab for the Armory Crate. And here, first up, you can choose 
the landing page for whenever you open the armor kit software so from home you can set it to any page that you want or you can also select the last open page so that whenever you close the armor kit it will open on the same page we also have customizable themes here so you can choose from rog armor crate which is currently selected and you can change it to either tough gaming armor crate or asus armor crate and the theme will change accordingly so just to give you an idea of how awesome it looks in these different themes uh, i'll change to the tough gaming armor crate theme first the rog armor crate will uh, reboot and it will load up the new theme and as you can see it completely changes the look and feel of this app Similarly, you can also change to the Asus Armory Crate and uh, it show you the change theme, which I believe is quite understated and it looks really good. So there are different themes uh, which will help you with your personalization of the laptop and the Armory Crate software. Now moving on to the update center, as the name suggests, you'll be able to check for all the latest updates for your laptop right here. So you can uh, check for either uh, device and driver component updates and all everything that your laptop requires will be listed here. So you can check for update and update it all from one place. Then finally, we have the about section so you can get to know the app version here and you can also check your service version right here. If you want, you can also record log for app diagnostics. And uh, that's it for the Asus ROG Armory Crate app. So that's it for this video. Uh, I really hope you like this video and you'll be able to utilize knowledge we've provided to better use the Armory Crate app for your personal needs. So thank you so much for watching. Tune in next time.